Greetings fellow gamers and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. I am Sweeney Dunstan and last week I did a tutorial on this build behind me. This is a villager trading post and since then I have gotten many questions about how to do the water streams leading the villagers up to this build. So that's what we're going to do today. So if you enjoy learning about Minecraft, go on down hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Before we get started with the actual build, we need to understand how far water will actually travel. So we place the water block here, and it goes all the way out to here. This is eight blocks away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks away from the water source itself, and the water source itself being the eighth block. So now we can actually build it. To start the build, we're gonna start out with a three block long and eight block wide area. And we're going to go to the very back side here, whichever side's the back, it doesn't matter. And we're going to build two blocks tall along that one side. And we're also going to do the same thing on the other side, leaving a channel in the center. Now these do not have to be solid, they don't have to be transparent. They can be anything as long as they are a full block. Fence posts and things like that will not work. So now we're going to come over here to the back side and we're going to place a sign on the side of the wall right there. And then we're going to build one more block out like so and place another sign there. Now once we place our water source block here, that's, these signs are going to keep the water from flowing down and backwards, which is going to cause the water stream to go one single direction. Now, as we can see here, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And as we said, water will tra uh, travel eight blocks. So we're going to have to put another block here and go ahead and put a little more glass just like that. Now we can place in our water source block right there in the corner of those two signs and as we see the water flows all the way out to here as expected. Now we're going to place another sign right here and this is going to start your next section. Now placing these two signs here where that water ends and we're going to build out eight more blocks from this bottom sign here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we're going to place the floor in as well as put the wall in. And now that we're done with that we can come back over here place a water bucket in once again and that will flow straight out to the edge. Now this right here can be continued on as long as you need it. The next thing we're going to do is place a ceiling on this because we don't want the villager jumping up and down and going all over the place so I'm just going to use glass here. You don't have to use glass again you can use whatever block you like you can use bottom slabs just don't use top slabs because then they'll be bouncing. Now as we can see I'm holding the space bar and it's holding me right against the ceiling. And if we place a villager in here, we'll see how this works. As we can see, it's pushing him straight along. No bouncing, no movement, just straight movement. That's it. So what if you need to have this curve around? Well, that's pretty simple as well. You can go out a couple of blocks or three blocks, just like so. Bring it on around. As long as you have eight blocks from here to the end, you're fine. This can be shorter. It doesn't have to be eight blocks exactly, but it cannot be longer. If it's longer, as we see, that water is not going to continue on and the villagers will get stuck on that block. So let's place the sign back down here and we are going to build the wall out like so. And then we're going to come out, let's see, that's three blocks there. So we're going to need four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now the water should stop on this block here. Let's go ahead and test that theory. And we're going to place our water source block back up above those signs right there. And voila, there we have it. How do we move the villagers straight up? I'm glad you asked. All right, so we're going to place in another line of blocks out here. And we're just going to make a 3x3 a three three tube. And that's how simple that is. Just around like so. And we can build this as high as you need to. No worries there. Now once you get it as high as you need it, go ahead and break that block there. And you're going to place in a water block there with a sign on top of that, water block, sign, so forth and so on until you get to the very top of your build. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to place in one more row of blocks here because I just noticed I didn't make this tall enough. There we go. One last water source block there. And go ahead and finish up your wall and you're good to go. Now when the villagers come through, they're going to go up instead of around, just like so get this guy over here and they're not going to drown over here because they have air blocks between each one of the water blocks and as we see up he goes 
And now we're going to move the villager back over to this side and drop him back down into the, this water stream down here. This is going to be fun. So now we are going to make sure where our sign is here. And then we're going to make our floor here on this level. So come across to about right here. And then we're going to place in the back wall. Just like that. And we're going to do the exact same thing we did down here, except alternate the flow of the water. So now we have finished up this level here. As we can see, that is going to be the same exact thing as down below. Now, since this guy is already poking his head up above where we need it to be, I'm just going to go ahead and break these two blocks here flush with the floor down there. He's going to come down and go all the way over to here. This is going to be the ninth block in this line. And now I'm going to go ahead and place in the top of the glass here so that once he comes back up, he doesn't start bobbing up and down again. Now, so that he can drop down to here, we are going to place in another wall, or another tube, rather. If I can get the blocks placed in there properly. There we go. Just like that. And a few more here, and here as well. Now all we have to do is break the block that is directly below him, and down he goes. Now I have to break the glass here and he is in now he gets caught by that and he's back going around now once he gets over here he's going to go straight up and then over and continue the cycle and that's it for this one ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so that youtube lets you know when the next video comes out but until next time i am sweeney dunstan and i'm out of here